if a function changes signs over an interval, the function value at the midpoint is evaluated. Okay, so nanti kalau dalam dalam uh, calculation nanti kita akan tengok lah macam mana. So the location of the root is then determined as lying at the midpoint of the sub-interval within which the sign changes occur. For example, A and B, there's a root. And then uh, we divide it by 2. Okay, every time we need to divide, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So the process is repeated to obtain a refined estimate until fulfill the stopping criteria. Okay, the stopping criteria uh, will be mentioned in the uh, exercise. Uh. Okay, for example, they said uh, the the error become the error is zero point zero 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 four. Then if the value of error is less than that, then you, you can stop. Uh. No need to do. Uh, again, okay. Uh, for the step one, choose the lower A and upper B. For example, the lower is uh, zero and the upper is one. Okay, and guesses A zero and B zero. For the root, such as the function changes sign over the interval, this can be checked by ensuring that uh, the theorem the intermediate theorem. So you multiply the value less than zero, then you can uh, for next one. Okay, for the step two, uh, an estimated uh, of the root is C is determined by a plus b minus by two. A is uh, this one, eh? The value of uh, the root, uh, the interval, interval the lower one and the upper one, a and b. Okay, untuk mat ni kalau baca teori susah sikit nak faham. Nanti dah buat jalan kerja baru agak nampak faham. And then for the next step, make the following evaluation to determine in which sub interval the roots lie. For example, if a uh, multiple with FC less than zero, then set A1 plus one, AI plus one equal to A1, and BI plus one equal to C1, root in interval. Okay, so nantilah kita, 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 saya rasa kita tengok lagi, lagi mudah lah demi jalan kerja kan, masa kita buat nanti. Eh, nampak screen ni tak? Nampak. Nampak, Doktor. Nampak, nampak. Nampak, Doktor. Then terminate the calculation until uh, stopping criteria. So this is the stopping criteria. Okay. So if you get the value of zero, then of course that is the root. Huh? Okay, otherwise we will uh, guess uh, with the number of error. Huh? Okay. Okay, so example. Okay, so given the graph of uh, fx equal to x minus x ln x, oh, banyak x dia, x minus x ln x, as in following figure, find the root of fx by using bisection method. So sometimes they, they ask you, eh, in the question, they ask you what kind of method. So this directly uh, ask you to use the bisection method. Find the root of fx by using bisection method with the interval minus the interval become negative one, a become one. And iterate until the stopping criteria. So this is the stopping criteria. Okay. So boleh paham ya soalannya? Okay, sekarang ni boleh tak bagi tahu saya, please let me know what is the interval that we want to choose. Berapa nombor uh, demi interval? A kita nak set berapa, B nak set berapa? Boleh Akmal? Berapa nak set A? Akmal. 
Okay. So, nilai A berapa? A berapa? B berapa? So, they say the main... A2. B minus A mestilah satu. B2. B2 ke A2? A2. A2, B3. A2, B3. Okay. So, dah, dah start nampak lah. Okay. So, dah start nampak. So, kalau ikutkan tadi, kita dah ada, dah ada A, B. Kemudian kita kena ada C. C dia adalah 3 tambah 2 bagi 2. 2.5. Okay. Dulu. Uh, okay, sekarang ni uh, kalau boleh kita buat table eh. Kita kena ada I. Kita kena ada AI. CI. BI. Oh, sekejap sini tak, tak ni lah. Sekejap eh. Okay. Okay, FX tadi adalah F X X minus X Lun X Okay Kita kena ada sini I A I C I B I <coughs> So C actually is the value of the middle, okay, in the middle because uh, A plus B minus of two uh, divided by two, so tengah tengah lah, okay. So that's why they're tengah tengah. Okay, and then uh, ini just nilai A B C. So sekarang kita masukkan nilai F A I F C I F B satu, okay. So pada permulaannya dia bermula daripada A yang zero lah, okay A yang belum mula. So A tadi apa dua kan? A dua, B tiga, C in, in the middle lah. Eh? So dua point lima lah, okay tiga tambah dua bagi dua, tiga tambah dua bagi dua, so two point five. So what is the value of F A? F0 which is F2. F2 berapa nilai? Bagi okay, dia sini dapat 0 0.6137. Okay. FC 0 0.2093. FB is negative 0 0.2958. Okay. So if you can see from A and B, there is a change of sign. Okay. Kalau kita darabkan uh, F, A, F, B, dia dapat less than zero. Okay, for this case, eh, for yang value ni. Tapi dalam masa yang sama, F, C, F, B pun less than zero. Okay. There, there is a root, but the value of root is still uh, so big lah. Okay, kita tengok tadi dia nak stopping criteria dia 0 0.0005. Okay, so sekarang uh, boleh kita back lah. Okay, so sini 2, sini 2.5, so sini 3 kan. So sekarang interval dah ada dekat kawasan ni je. Sini kita kecil kan. So interval berada di kawasan ni. So C0 become A1. Okay. Oh terbalik lah. Okay. Uh, B1 equal to B0. Okay. 
So for the next iteration, so iteration one, so A, this one become over here. So this one is become 2.1. So this is turun bawah je. So three. Okay. And then three plus uh, three, three, uh, untuk dapatkan C, to get the value of C, 3 plus 2.5 divided by 2 is 2.75. Okay. So, nanti kita akan dapat sini, uh, sini akan dapat negative, positif, ni akan negatif, ni akan dapat negatif. Okay. So, ini saya nak simpelkan lah, nak, 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 nak mudahkan pemahaman dia. So, bila uh, yang ini, Boleh tukar colour tak? Bila ni dah FA times FC So dia change Change of sign So ni dengan ni cek tak change Ni dengan ni change Tapi ni lagi kecil Okay So what happen uh, So 2.5 become 2.5 over here And then 2.75 become here 2.75 Okay so this one become 2.62 for iteration number 2 ok so macam tu lah iteration dia ok 3, 4, 5 blah 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 until the value you get is less until the value you get over here is less than 0 0.0005 then you stop Okay, dia tengok kat sini lah terus. Okay, tadi kat sini. Okay, kita dapat positif. Positif. Negatif. So, ni untuk seterusnya kan. So, if this one and this one, no change of sign or the value is still uh, more than zero. And this one time by this, we can get less than zero. Eh? Because of negative. So, if this and this, you uh, multiply, uh, multiply FC and FB so the value of X so ini C ya, yang ini C, yang ini B kan FC ni FB tak, ni FB ni FC so the value of C and B dia akan berubah, C sini 2.5 2.5 ni akan turun bawah yang ni akan turun kemudian C ni adalah A tambah B uh, bagi 2 dapat nilai C Okay, so seterusnya you buat lah. Okay, dia buat positif, positif, negatif. So dia akan jadi sini. Okay, bila sini nanti C, B. Okay. Uh, C, yang ni dia turun sini. B dia turun sini. Okay. So you calculate lagi, dapat positif, negatif, negatif. So yang ni dan yang ni kan, FA dan FC. So FA, FA akan turun. A akan turun. Uh, C akan become here and then you calculate C A plus B minus uh, divided by 2 ok sampai lah you dapat value less than 0 0.05 ok so you dapat uh, lepas tu dah dapat cara tulis dia adalah gini eh Fx equal to 0 0.0004 uh, obey dia a stopping criteria so the root of fx is the value of x so ni fc ni c ya eh, fc so the value of c is so this is the root boleh faham tak susah nak jelas kat sini macam mana ada yang uh, kurang jelas Dengar tak? Kurang jelas yang apa? Siapa yang kurang jelas ni? Saya Dr. Rashid. Kurang jelas doktor. Boleh repeat. Boleh repeat tak doktor? Repeat sekali lagi tak doktor? Tak faham doktor. <laughs> ah, okay. Sekejap eh. Saya cuba buat balik eh.
Okay. So sekarang ni uh, perhatikan betul-betul eh kat, kat sini eh. So ada cara lah nak tutup. So nak tutup lah. Okay, so perhatikan kat sini eh, saya ni kali ni saya tak boleh nak tulis ni pasal dia tak boleh ni Oh boleh ni Oh tak boleh Okay, tak apalah saya cuba kat sini eh So tadi uh, kita dah ambil eh value of uh, interval Uh, the value of A is 2 and the value of B is 3 okay and then uh, for this bisection value by bisection uh, method so kita mesti dapatkan value of C ya. so value of C is kita assume dia berada di tengah-tengah okay so that's why uh, the calculation of uh, C is A plus B divided by 2. Okey. Boleh faham eh semua eh? So A tambah B bagi 2 dapat C. B. Sekarang boleh faham eh? Faham dah eh. Okey, so dah, dah dapat nilai A C B ni, okey. Kita cari fx. A ni nilai 2 ni, okey, nilai 2 ni kita masukkan dalam equation ni. Boleh faham? Dapat uh, kita masukkan X ni dalam sini Pastikan dia dalam radian So nanti kita akan dapat value sini Value A ni Okay? Okay So yang B ni pun sama, yang B masukkan dalam ni Okay kita akan dapat value sini Value FB C pun sama juga, masukkan dalam FX ni Kita akan dapat nilai FC Okay, so sekarang ni baru uh, Sekarang ni baru nak dapat nilai sahaja Okay, baru nak dapatkan nilai kesemuanya Okay, okay sekarang ni kita nak check Ingat lagi teorem, uh, intermediate teorem Intermediate teorem kata apa? Diva, Diva Rabin, Diva Kar Ya yeah, doktor. Uh, apa intermediate theorem? Uh, kalau FA darab dengan FB dia kurang daripada kosong. Then apa maksudnya? Dia ada root tengah-tengah A dengan B. Okay. So itu basic dia lah eh, kat situ. So kalau kita tengok kat sini. Okay, so sini kita kita buat dua dulu eh. Kita buat dulu dua dulu. A dan B dulu. Hujung dan hujung lah eh. So A positif. So yang ni negatif. Okay. So bila kita FA darab dengan FB. For sure we will get less than zero. Betul? Okay. Betul. Ha? Betul. Okey. Betul betul. Itu satu. Kemudian kita tengok pula uh, FA dan FC. So FA darab dengan FC. Berapa nilai dia? More than zero. So bila more than zero a uh, no root ah. There will be no root. Okey. So how about F C multiple by multiply by F B. So we will get less than zero then there is a root. 
Ada root dah eh. Okay. Tapi ini pun ada root. FA min, uh, multiply by FB ada root. FC, FB pun ada root. Okay. However, where is the most closer? Mana yang paling dekat sekali? Okay, interval yang paling dekat. Kita nak ambil interval yang paling dekat. Okay. Kalau kita tengok ni A2. Yang ni 3. Yang ni 2.5 kan. So for sure lah. Ini yang paling dekat. Betul tak? Betul. Yes. Okay. So that's why kita jadikan dia interval. Kita jadikan 2.5 dan 3 ni sebagai interval. For the next iteration. Okay. So that's why they become uh, new interval lah. So next iteration 2.5. Ini 3. Okay. So untuk dapat value C yang tengah-tengah in between 3, 2.5 and 3 is. Kita, kita ni je lah. Uh, tambah dan kita bahagi 2. Kita min lah eh, Calculation min. And then kita dapat 2.7. Okay. 2.75 okay. 2.75 Okay Kemudian kita dapat value lagi lah Seterusnya Okay So dah, dah nampak gambaran dia You can see the figure Boleh boleh Diva macam mana Diva Diva Kar boleh doktor boleh. Faham. Sekarang nak nampak kan macam mana dia punya proses. Uh -huh. Okey tadi tu satu step. So step yang seterusnya similar. Sama je dia punya jalan kerja. Okey. You take this value. Masukkan dalam fx. Dapat fa. Masukkan value b. Masukkan dalam fx. Dapat fb. Masukkan nilai c dalam fx. Dapat nilai c. Okay. Okay, so sekarang bila kita dah dapat nilai ni, kita akan tengok balik. Okay, kita akan klik. Ay, alamak ay. Sekarang kita tengok balik eh. So, F A darab dengan F B less than zero. Betul? F A darab dengan F C less than zero. F C multiply dengan F B more than zero. Okay, so C and B no roots over there. Okay, so A and B then A and C which one is smaller? The interval is more smaller. F A and F C. F A and C. So the value of A and C yeah, the mean new interval. Okay. So this is the new interval. Am I right? So for the next iteration, the number of uh, interval and uh, the number of interval is 2.5 until 2.75 okay and then calculate the value of c so these two a and b you times divide by that uh, by 2 you will get 2.625 five okay so inilah cara dia okay kalau nak senang okay ni saya this is my from my tips eh, for my tips So this and this is a different sign. So if different sign, then there is a root. If same sign, negative, negative, no root. Positive, positive, no root. So if there is a, a change of sign, then there's a root. So then you can calculate the uh, new interval. Okay. So sekarang boleh, boleh paham? Boleh, 
Suka sama juga you buat ni bawah ni. Okay. Sama juga you buat ni kan. You tadi kita kat sini kan. Okay. Kita kat sini tadi. Uh, okay. Ni positif. Positif. Negatif. So positif positif tak ada interval. Eh tak ada root. Positif positif tak ada root. Positif negatif ada root. Positif negatif ada root. Okay. So yang paling kecil adalah FC interval uh, between ni lah. FC dan FB. So the value of C become value of A for the next. So value of C become value of A. And value of B become value of B for the next iteration. Okay. You calculate. And then positive, positive, negative. Positive, positive, no root. Positive, negative, root. Other root. So C become next A. C become next A. Okay. B become next B. Dah, dah boleh faham? Dah, dah, dah boleh dapat tak? Yang apa yang saya nak, saya dah speak ni? Ya yeah, boleh faham doktor. Tapi saya mau tahu macam mana kita mau tahu ibu I kena buat sampai berapa. Tak dengar, tak dengar. Yang sepuluh. No, saya mau, saya faham tapi saya mau tahu itu I kena buat macam mana mau tahu that which is the last step. Okay. So, bila nak berhenti lah sekarang ni? Senang kata. Ya, yeah, bila mau berhenti. Okay. Sekarang ni kita tengok soalan. Soalan ada sebut ni. So, bila you dapat value of FCI. Bila you dapat value of C i less than ni. Less than 0 0.0005. Bila you dapat value less than this, then you stop. Oh, okay. Okay. So kita tengok ni. Dia nak tengok okay, ni. Tengah-tengah ni. Value of C i kan. Okay, kita dah buat. buat, yeah. buat, 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 buat. And then sampai sini kita tengok ni positif, positif, negatif. Okay, ni value of C become the next A. Okay, ni become sini. Ni turun bawah. Dapat uh, new C. Okay, dapat new C. And then kita masukkan value. Dapat ni positif, positif, positif. Okay, kalau ikutkan kita boleh buat lagi lah kan. New iteration. Iteration 10. Okay. Tapi kita tengok kat sini value ni. The value of FC is less than the error. Okay, this one is less than 0 0.0005. So since the less than the error, then kita boleh stop lah. So the value of root is this one. This is the value of root lah. Okay. Boleh dapat gambaran. Ya, yeah, boleh doktor. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, memandangkan uh, kita tengah nak belajar ni. So, saya nak semua belajar buat example ni. Example ni dah ada kan? Demand solution eh? Semua dah dapat kan? Dah dapat tengok kan? Ya. Yeah. Okay, tak, tak apa. Tak payah buat yang ni. Uh, sebab saya ingat kan belum bagi tadi lupa pula. Okay. Kita tengok juga yang ni eh. Okay, uh, sama juga value nak pilih interval dia, kita satu uh, A minus, uh, B minus A equal to 1. Okay, the graph uh, function find root of this by intersection eh. So kalau kita tengok dekat kalau ikut graph eh. So the root interval yang kita pilih ialah 1 and 2 lah. Okay, 1 and 2. Okay, stopping criteria dia sama. Okay. So kita pun masuk 1, 2, bahagi 2, C, bahagi 2, 1.5. Okay, kita masukkan nilai ni. So the value of A masuk dekat Fx, B masuk, C pun masuk, dapat value of Fa, Fc and Fb. Okay. So once kita dah dapat nilai, so then kita check uh, is there any root or not lah. Okay. 
Kita check root dan juga kita check the stopping criteria eh. Of course lah pada B tu mungkin uh, tak, Pada permulaan ni mungkin belum sampai lagi lah So now negatif Positif Positif So posit negatif positif Ada change of sign So positif positif no sign of change of sign Okay so Sini ada root Negatif and positif So time kita multiply kita dapat less than zero So the value of A become new A The value of C become the new B Okay Kemudian kita dapat value C Okay uh, A plus B uh, divided by 2 Kita dapat value of C Okay dan kita masukkan semula Ke dalam Fx Nilai A, nilai B, nilai C So we we'll obtain the value of Fx, Fa, Fb and Fc And then we uh, See whether there is a root or not huh? So negative, negative, positive Okay So over here A and C They are the same sign, same sign Okay so there is no change of sign And then uh, C and B There is a different sign Okay, of course they will uh, when it's multiple become less than zero. So the value of C become new A for the next. C become new A. The value of B become B. Okay, until you get the value uh, less than zero point zero zero five. Okay. And then the value of root is this one. Okay? Boleh faham yang ni? Dah boleh faham? Faham, doktor. Okay. 